Welcome aboard, nigga. Y'all on my shit. I took this shit over for the day. Yo, what's good with the homies, man? Today we're gonna be checking out Jaquin the Divine with Black Sun Zoo. Jaquin the Divine is a dope MC coming out of Brooklyn, New York. You know what I'm saying? This album actually came out July 12th. I've been meaning to cover it over here on the channel, but you know, didn't really have a lot of time on my hands, you know what I'm saying? So now I got time. Like, like I always be saying over here on the channel, man. Now I got time, you know what I'm saying? So well, a lot of people fail to kind of realize, bro, was like, bro, I got like a full-time job outside of this shit, you know what I'm saying? So I would literally be working every day, damn near seven days a week, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, if I don't be pushing some of these shits out in time or whatever the hell or during that certain period of time, then shit, bro, there ain't shit I can do about it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, Jaquin the Divine, Black Sun Zoo, man, really liking this album cover that's over here, man. You can tell it's very heavily MF Doom inspired. Um, actually, it takes after that Operation Doomsday cover, um, but I'm really fucking with it, you know what I'm saying? I think there was three album covers that came out for this uh, particular album that he dropped. But yeah, man, without further ado, let's go ahead and get up into the album, man. We got 14 tracks, got a few features on here from Javi Darko or Javi Darko, I don't know exactly how you pronounce that. And then uh, KJ, you got two features from him. Uh, he dropped the album called Verbal Art. If you want to check that joint out, I'll check that out too. Really dope album as well. Uh, but yeah, man, let's go ahead and get into it, man. First track is Now of Emotions. Let's get it. And also, I don't know exactly who produced all this stuff that's up on here, man. Um, and coming back to the album title as well, Black Sun Tzu. Uh, you know, Sun Tzu was pretty much like a Chinese general, you know what I'm saying? There was a book my mom made me read. It was uh, Sun Tzu, The Art of War. So basically, he's like a war general and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So um, I don't know if that's going to play into like a lot of the things that he's going to be talking about on here. Um, but as far as like um, that first, you know, sampling from whatever, I don't know if that's a movie or something. Uh, it kind of seems like he's kind of getting into that, you know what I'm saying? My destiny is to be the leader of my nation, mm -hmm. and no one will interfere. Life, I'm pissed poor, life is a bitch, making my dick sore, pissed off, pissed off, and it's a bitch, shit, the bliss gone, mm -hmm. gone. Monty's hubby been cheating, fucking a sick broad, call mm. me when she ready to dump the clip in the grip drawer. Mm. I was hacking dump my the clip, rip drawer, trap inside this urban prison, lacking since the summer, and I'm no wisdom. Okay, trapped inside this urban prison, but I'm earning wisdom. But then he's sitting there talking about, you know, how he's piss poor and stuff like that as well. You know what I'm saying? Just painting a picture, bro. Um, and this is all kind of going towards what I'm picturing, especially with, like, the sampling and stuff like that. Um, you know, that art of war type feel. Because he's talking about pulling the pistol out of the drawer for his girl or whatever. Um, just letting you know that. He's pretty much a product of the environment that he's in right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. As time goes on, you you should be good. Like time heals everything. You know what I'm saying? But he feels like the time is basically making him break at the roots. I like that line. You know what I'm saying? Because some people. You know, time don't heal shit, you know what I'm saying, for, for some people. All right, man, that was Nile of Emotion. Really messed with this track, man. The sample in the beginning was really dope. Um, and this guy's flow and cadence is just crazy as hell, you know what I'm saying? He's definitely spitting really fast with a really dope cadence. But at the same time, man, the content of what he's talking about as far as being like a product of the environment that he's in. Um, and that's like socially and everything, you know what I'm saying? Just really dope. Um, and then he touches on some really dope subjects as far as like uh, just kind of talking about how, you know, people say that time heals all. But at the same time, it's like he doesn't feel that way, you know, and I can kind of relate to that because I don't think that time heals everything. You know what I'm saying? He feels unstable at this point in his stage of life, you know what I'm saying? But the beat on here is really dope. I like how it was really carried out more by horns and strings up on here, man. But it really gives it kind of like that old school feel um, kind of going with the sample that he used in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, let's go ahead and check out the next track, which is, damn, that's a long ass title, bro. <laughs> the Blood, the Sweat, and the Steel. Let's get it. This is like a ongoing movie, man, if he keeps doing these damn samples in the beginning. Ooh. Mm -hmm. mm. You develop fast when you beat odds. Bro, this is fire, bro. He's speaking some shit on here, bro. I fucks with this heavy as fuck. Mm -hmm. Make ends meet. Mm. Never met a man to be defeat time. Mm. 
those that can kind of relate to some of the stuff that he's talking about as far as we're in some of these environments that you're in it forces you to grow up faster you know what i'm saying it forces you to grow faster than what you normally would i mean it goes it goes both ways when you're talking about the street life or just like normal life in general you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One half is idiots, one half is delirious. Talking about the youth. Come on, bro. Stop it. This this content is heavy, man. Literally sitting there talking about, you know, bringing the homies up in the casket and finding out like one of his homies was sitting here fucking around with under eight. Like, come on, man. This is my early memory, my sensory was loaded with dead focus and enemies. What? Seas for the dark and seas. Uh, my squad of leaves. Squad of leaves, dark and seas. We beat the mark of beast fire. Swore to rise. Throw this load of mind. We immortalize. Like you slaughter mind. We immortalize. It's heavy, bro. This is heavy. That beat switch was crazy. Hard to see from the dark and seas. Mm. Four to five guys, four to five. Was born at times where they water lies. Morphin lies. God. Ugh. Bro. Do you hear this wordplay, bro? Blemishes. Hold on. Go back. What do you say? Metal blemishes coming from rebels with no benefits. Mm. Mm. My exodus, my exodus leading to where the exit is. But you know, exodus like the end, you know, in a biblical sense, you know what I'm saying, leads to where the exit is. Like <laughs> the wordplay on here is just crazy, bro. The wordplay on here is crazy. That beat switch right here is fire as hell. And he kind of picks it up. The level of energy that he uses when he's talking about these subjects and what he's talking about, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is fire, bro. Thing, fuck pain, brain stuck in the mundane. Mm. Enough shame, tough rain. Tough but die, do or die. Cause I never rain, never win. But you could tell, man, this guy's hungry as hell, man. The subject matter alone on here is fucking amazing as hell, you know what I'm saying? So far for two tracks, bro. This shit is fire, you know what I'm saying? Next track, Attack by Stratagen. Let's get it. Bro, the use of these damn saxophones on here has been fire. Mm. I do the work of a slave with the perks of a king. Bro, what the fuck? Why haven't I like to listen to this earlier, bro? Mm -hmm. Emerging for the surfaces of murder and greed. Mm -hmm. Seeing cops purchase rock like this whole album thus far with three tracks has just been painting such like a just I don't know it just gives you that underground feeling like the not like the dark web but like the darkness of the underground stuff that goes on in the streets that you don't really see you don't really know about you know what I'm saying talking about you know cr cops themselves you know what I'm saying buying crack and shit you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Things be using me like a stipend. I'm the wonderful asshole your mother do. And a coochie fucking hat slacks like a huxtable fucking hat. Coochie slacks like a huxtable. Just so I could cover the other two without. I told you, I'm gamble. I'm moving right through the scamble. Like the shambles, like candles, pursuing my shambles. Like the gamble. Shooting dice with no ammo. I like who is this? I think this is KJ, right? Yeah. Energy that they got, bro, is both matching up on here, man. Both talking about that street life, how life is a gamble up on here, you know what I'm saying? Bad bitch pour me, yeah. Think mm. about the lost time that my mother regret. Mm. Mm. The lost time my mother regret. Hate my potential, but nigga too red. And still call to pursue here. Shorty fuck my last man, so my baby in a stomach. Who cares? Shorty fuck my last man. Have my baby basically had his baby, you know what I'm saying? Just talking some real life shit up on here, man. It goes with that life is a gamble type shit. Really Honestly, bro, this is like an album that I I would really like to just sit down and just listen to myself. You know what I'm saying? There's things in the subject matter that he's talking about on this album, man. Um, I feel like I just need to... Do more of a deep dive, a deep dive listen on, you know what I'm saying? Really liking that track once again. That beat switch was, you know, really dope, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't really needed. 
because <laughs> I was fucking with the first beat that was up all there, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it was good to see him, you know, kind of switch it up, you know what I'm saying? And like I said before, I don't know exactly who produced a lot of these tracks. I try to look. I don't see any production credits or anything like that. So, um, whoever fucking produced that beat, that shit was fire, you know what I'm saying? But let's get on to the next one, man. Year 2040, the year of the monkey. Yo, 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 yo. So, uh, it's called Year 2040, but the beat sounds like it's like some old Japanese stuff while sounding more modern, you know what I'm saying, at the same time. I fucks with that, you know what I'm saying? Because it sounds futuristic, but at the same time, it sounds older. Bro, I don't know if that's the thing that you're trying to do with it, bro, but that's just what I'm getting from the beat so far. But this beat is tough, you know what I'm saying? You know, that kick, hi hat, mm -hmm. Death before designer, leave them necklace. Come on, let's go. Still too sharp, let's go. Mm, chest rip, who would have guessed it? Mm. Okay. Mm. God bless the rich but left the jail present. Come on, bro. I come to all sea cells. Okay, basically sitting there letting you know that even though he didn't want to be up in that lifestyle, it's like, yo, even I. I was sitting here doing some of this shit, you know what I'm saying, to get by. Mm -hmm. Diminished was privileged. Mm. New world order while they watch us plummet. Mm. The world of survivors little. Mm. The media condoned it, which later turned into atonement. All right, man, year 2040, year of the monkey. Beat on here is fire as hell. Probably like one of my favorite beats on here. Like I said before, it literally feels like he kind of mixing that futuristic type sound with an older sound at the same time, uh, which kind of gives it more of like, um, like that kind of like that post-apocalyptic type feel. You know what I'm saying? That's what it kind of feels like. Uh, we're actually going through some of the stuff mixed in with the subject matter of what he's talking about on here as well. You know what I'm saying? Probably one of my favorite tracks out of the, what is it, four that we've done thus far. Um, but yeah, man, really dope. Let's get on to the next one. Master Sun, a trip into the inevitable. Let's get it. It's like take a trip into my unexplored vortex. I draw vortex. Instead of drawing text to hit your vortex. Draw <laughs> flesh, tell flex the way to step into my vortex. Instead of text, I pull text, hit you in your gore text. <laughs> like, bruh. <laughs> Yo, like, the. <laughs> bruh. I can't even put this into words how fire this is, bro. Like, just the wordplay that he, you know, that whole scheme with text right here. Text, text. Like, it's just, it's just fire, you know what I'm saying? Bring that back. My gore text. It's like, take a trip into my unexplored vortex. I draw a text instead of drawing text to hit your gore text. Hit your gore text. The lady Claymore. I'm about to bomb. Ooh, Claymore about to bomb. Got a rich nigga mind that's all my mom said I needed to make. What do you say? Oh, to keep rich conquest. Mm, seven heads, seven vision board. I like how it says right here the vision board, but you know, back in the previous bar, you said. I got the mind of a rich nigga, you know what I'm saying? But he's doing all these things to reach his goal or obtain that richness, you know what I'm saying? Follow mode, clay and dough, like that play. Blind hatred is only a form of admiration. It's facts, you know what I'm saying? And that, hey, that line is specific for y'all haters over here, you know what I'm saying? On everything, you know what I'm saying? Ominous. Mm. Killed in the physical, so I'm dominant. 
the damnation. Okay, now hold on, bro. He, now he's talking about some outer worldly shit. You know what I'm saying? Literally getting rid of his physical body. You know what I'm saying? And becoming something else. I feel like I'm missing a lot of stuff in here. But from what he's talking about at the end state of this, and then what he was talking about previously. You know what I'm saying? It just feels like he's more so reaching a totally different goal. So back here, he's talking about how he had a mind of a rich nigga, you know what I'm saying? And now towards the end part over here, he's more talking about um, getting rid of his physical form and becoming something completely different. Not has he only reached his goal of what his mind state was before, but he surpassed that at this point, you know what I'm saying? Because he's not really worried about that. This is what I'm, I'm getting from, you know, what... I'm hearing from this track so far, you know what I'm saying? Run that back. Astral evacuation, I occupy through a spectrum of cosmic perfection, but it's no oxygen. Mm, perfection. Mm -hmm. Rocket. Okay. Okay, yep. My conscience killed my physical image, you know what I'm saying? So now it's dominant. Just like I was saying before. So I, I think I'm kind of getting onto whatever the track is, you know, kind of meaning on here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We had a conversation as we blasted through a finite damnation that the flesh created. Mm -hmm. said, Man, bro, Fly through damnation. Th okay, he was talking about that rocket flying through damnation that the flesh created. The trick, less the entity. Yeah. We talk for literally eons as we concluded. The devil last who got us in a loop pursuing resolution. Mm -hmm. Remain neutral and focus on your own noodle. That's the only way to let the source of God flow through you. Mm -hmm. Remain neutral and focus on your own noodle. You know what I'm saying? I fucks with what he's talking about on here. Some stuff may be going over my head. I'm not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, this is a first listen on this shit. And he's saying a lot of shit up in here. I feel like this album is definitely something you really need to sit down and digest. You know what I'm saying? Just really talking some introspective shit. Oh, then I woke up. Alright, next track to Bet Rainforest. Let's get it. Yo, no reason I'm out hunting like it's open season. Mm -hmm. weekends, hundred dollar sneakers, stolen visas at my lowest region. Mm -hmm. Bills, build, stolen visas. Real deal, real deal. Most of these women are swimming cheap. Real deal. Holes bounce to my rapid rhythm like tadpoles. Bad bitches bounce to my rhythm like tadpoles. Okay, bro. <laughs> Tainted vessels aim a tech at you, smash a nigga for his revenue. Mm. Talking practice for a racist con. Black Sun Zoo. And Yeah, man, not much to really say about this track, man. The beat on here is dope as hell. And like I said before, man, just everything about him flowing and what he's talking about on here is dope. Let's go on to the next one, man. Classification of terrain. Let's get it. Hey, yo, my mother called, been killing me just the last of day. My brother used to okay. fall. I never thought he would pass away. God, why you take Damn. the ones you put the most work into? Then mm. you mercy kill my son so purpose. God, why you take away the ones that you put the most work into? I can feel exactly what he's talking about with this line, you know what I'm saying? Talking about the passing of one of his brothers, you know what I'm saying? I like the family scheme that he's using right here, you know what I'm saying, to kind of depict life and death. Um, and you know, kind of let you know that you know he was skillful since he came out the womb. Facts. the ashes of my dad, no casket, no funeral. Who is this? Uh, Javi Darko. He spent some real shit up on here too. Be the new road, true. Motivation fade while I'm losing hope. Shoulder blades holding my shoulder blades holding pain. I like 
the picture that he's painting with that one you said mm -hmm. next up the way let's get it mm. Ooh, them strings that piano this give me that honor kill the samurai type fucking vibes right here bro Stay on the watch for the wolves. I'm blessed with a shepherd's side. Stay on the watch with the wolves. Shepherd's eye. I'm 95 and spirit. I can't afford this spirit. Yo, chill. Chill. God damn, chill, bro. I'm trying to keep up and I can't, bro. I got to pause it way too much to keep up. Mind you, I don't got lyrics or nothing up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going straight off the dome. Stay on the watch for the wolves. I'm blessed with a shepherd's eye. Shepherd's eye. Stay on the watch for the war. I'm blessed with a shepherd's eye. Okay. You already died. I'm 95 in spirit. I catapulted the spirit time. Mm -hmm. 95 in spirit. Catapulted the spirit time. Catcher in a ride was decorated in human life. With mm -hmm. the seed on my sleeve. Was decorated in human life. <sighs> Come on. Crown chakra shift the smoke and you can If you skip this. That, that one small vocal sample right here, bro, is fire. The way. Fire. Uh, Citadel, so my country with propaganda cells. Citadel, uh, my country with propaganda cells. Mm. 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 Now break the net. Worldwide mm. communities is in effect. Brag okay. about your likes is mental wilderness, not a fucking flex. Mm. You need the talking about poverty and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? The less you're gonna sit here and feed us, the more rebellious we're gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Laws of laws of attraction is at work when you accept the minds. Mm-hmm. Laws of attraction is better when you accept the minds. Resurrected, my soul's immortal. I never, I never died. died. Step aside, you count me out. Soul's immortal, never died. Count me out, petrified. Mm. When that pressure rises, my roots mm. originated from lost tribes with a mecha line. Mm. Mm. Recognize you lesser size when the weapon mm. rises. Never blind, I lead you through these lines with this message. I specialize mm -hmm. in warfare. So never blind, lead, lead you through what you lead you with these messages. I know the pain, battle scars on my shoulder blades, cold as stain, shaking them off until there's no remains. All right, man, that was the way. Really dope, man. Like you can really tell, you can really tell where Jack King's head is. You know what I'm saying? As far as talking about the impoverished and the way that he talks about himself and the things that happen either in his community, uh, where he's at, the people around him, or himself. You know what I'm saying? Um, and once again, man, really dope feature from KJ as well. Definitely another track that I need to come back to and really dive deep into. You know what I'm saying? I would say shit next to um, what was it year 2040? It's probably like another one of my favorite beats, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's get on to the next one, man. Dragons of Ashita, Executioner's Charm. Let's get it. Yeah, it's like knocking box records Mentally ill, trying to reach my destiny still. Still, like all these things that he's exposed to, you know, what I'm saying is really fucking him up in the long run. But he's still trying to reach his end point and his end goal. You know, what I'm saying. Part of all my trauma and will, believing no tomorrow, signing all the swallowing pills. Mm -hmm. There was these. Let's get on to the next one, man. Indigenous wins. I'm really liking the old school feel on here, man. But it has like that modern sound as well. Mm. Bro, the flutes on here has just been making this so dope. Facts. Basically, have you ever felt like you was you know working your hardest and literally going nowhere with it you know what I'm saying but he says sometimes you know the gold is in the rubber you know what I'm saying it's hard to get to but the more you work towards it you know what I'm saying is what's going to get it out of it you know what I'm saying to everlasting dungeons in the 
devil's clutches with a smell of flesh burn redundant mm -hmm. but now working at the burn matinee, redundant. Burn the matinee. Okay, okay working at the matinee talent on display i like that not the fastest fortune but fast endorsements he tries to pay attention but he can't afford it pen worth 10 scholarships okay Black Sun Zoo. Uh, let's get on to uh, Stranded and Shrine. Relationships just stand the test of time, but lose footing. I sit mm -hmm. fools and miss shoes, cause who wouldn't? I'm Relationships to... should stand the test of time, but eventually lose footing. You just be spitting some facts on here. Mm -hmm. See what men will do to reach the pinnacle. I'd rather die slowly from the fumes of a molded room. Sometimes mm. I look at half and I'm depressed. It's like he hanging on and I'm the rope to keep her from his father's death. Mm. The no meeting until we meet ends. We be trapped in hell together, fighting demons with eternal bleeding. Mm -hmm. These Alpha Davis made our soul adjacent. We soak mm. it sacred. Do a shroom to show and the Alpha Davis made our souls adjacent. We private, merely up alive, but be careful, Sonic. Staring at the future, though we fear his toxins. The mm -hmm. world is different. Poison boys, so the course of myths have taught to hate yourself, but you love and bought they've been the price to keep. A mind of my own, it's like a value life, but to be alive is alone. It's like a value life, but being alive is alone. So he's like trying to choose between the two, you know what I'm saying? Because either way, he's by himself, but at the same time, he values some of the things that he has. But at the same time, it's kind of bringing him down as well. You know what I'm saying? Not for days, ain't slept a single night. Mm -hmm. Voices in my head love telling me when to write. Okay. It's an extension of my essence. Mentally mm. perfected every single syllable within existence. Mm -hmm. Aiming the nails in Christ. That's fire. Died. Some say I'm the devil, yet I'm an angel in disguise. Mm -hmm. Gazing at the sky. Some say I'm a devil, I'm angel in disguise. It's time for my soul to dematerialize. All right, let's get on to uh, To Be Disciplined, Vague, and Mysterious. Except that the serpent's deep in the garden of Eden, the star in the beach. More deceptive than the Garden of Eden. Started with treason. Started thinking. Tomorrow's. Mm. Cheating. Seek or swim. Oof. These Deadpools niggas can't compete with him. Okay. Mm. Niggas gotta do you colder than pneumonia. You don't fuck with that, bro. Yeah. Talking about sex, slave to the flesh. There's a lot going on up in this song, bro. Mm. Fine by a gun holster, death focus. Mm. Mm. Disciples need me to paint the picture. Okay. All right. Next track, Blade of Damascus. Let's get it. Black hooded cloak so half the face. At the same place as my opponent could have matched the pace. Mm. From the rat race, bow to the sixth floor to submit gore. A flip gore okay. shit from the fifth floor. Now I'm still poor. Don't the fifth floor. From the wrist draw. Wrist draw. Brick wall. Head first to mid fall. Brick wall. Head first to mid fall. So we use pain because my pain of music, use an acid time. Mm. Mm. face embrace the dark like Anakin. Okay, how fuck was that Star Wars reference, bro? Mm. We'll see his capital property. We'll see his capital property. 
Monopolies. Okay, I like that scheme. Mm. <laughs> talk, about, talk about the economy, bro. Capitalism. Mm. You know, the games fuck when the student got to teach, bro. And maybe he's talking in aspects of the rap game and um, also, you know, talking about that street life as well that he's been, you know, kind of sprinkling in here throughout the album. Rap basically kept him alive essentially is what he's saying with that bar facts when you're black you know the drama is different mm. let's get on to the last track golf of jilly a sea of blood. It's like my granny concerned because she close to death. Hoping mm. that my family hold when she go with lowest depths. Mm. Moments in despair when you're Okay. That line right there too, bro. Hitting hard, you know what I'm saying? Basically his grandmother hoping that the family's gonna be set before she ends up dying, you know what I'm saying? Past wasn't pretty, future looking scary too. Talking about fallen angels like his homies, most of them haven't pretty much died from natural causes kind of bringing it back to you know his grandmother what she's doing and hoping that her family is set up before she does die from natural causes you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. if we're going backward how can we pave it forward in the streets facts mm -hmm. Kendo, crescendo you know what I'm saying kind of mixing it up between the two and the three syllable rhyme schemes right there bro fire Fire. Black Sun Zoo, dope album, bro. Like, this album just shows his skill set as far as not only being able to, you know, keep a cohesive theme and stuff like that going throughout, um, but just some of the social issues and stuff like that he's talking about on here, man. Um, just really talking more about the street life, the hypocrisy is within the streets. But yeah, man, overall, what I'm getting from this album is that he is the black Sun Tzu, man. The black version of Sun Tzu, the general of the area that he's in. Um, he's kind of letting you know all the things that he is seeing. Um, some things, um, he may be you know, moving certain pieces or telling a certain story um, about certain things. Um, but he's definitely like, saying that he is like a figure representative of where he is at just letting you know all the things that's going on in you know that certain area talks about a lot of heavy subjects as far as like social injustice socialism things that go on in the community um, just some really really heavy stuff that's up in here man um, even to the point of talking about like one of his homeboys getting caught up messing around with underage girls and shit bro like it, it's I don't miss out, bro. I was just talking about like a lot of real heavy shit that's up in here. I don't know how religious he is, but there's like a lot of, you know, religious themes throughout the album as well that kind of go along with a lot of the things that he's talking about. Talking about family, community, religion, just a lot of stuff, bro. Mental health. If I got to go back like 50, 60 times, I mean, not literally, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, if I really think about, hey, man, I got to go back here and listen to this a few more times to, you know, really deep dive and kind of dissect every single thing that he's saying up in here. Um, that kind of proves to you what type of album that I think it is, you know what I'm saying? Features on here were great as hell, man. KJ and uh, what's his name? Uh, Javi Darko. Javi Darko did his thing up on here. Dope introduction to him. Um, and KJ, of course, man, they, they both complimented every feature that they were on on here. Instrumentals, man, just really kind of tackled that theme of, you know, kind of being in that that Chinese era of, you know, Sun Tzu or whatever, you know, some themes of war. This instrumentals wrap it all up 
um, really well as far as, you know, putting those themes out there and going along with the content that Jock King is saying up on here, man. Like I said, don't know every single producer that's up on here or any producer that produced any of these tracks. So if you know, put it down in the comment section so that way we can, you know, give them the proper credit that is due because it's a fire ass album. A lot of beat switches that were throughout, which is really dope. A lot of these songs have beat switches on them, which I think was pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Kind of just switching it up, making sure that everything's kind of fresh. The beats don't get stale because some of these songs, man, are like five to seven minutes, you know what I'm saying? So um, those beat switches and stuff like that were really dope. A lot of sap on here as far as like movies and TV shows. So some of them go over my head. I get some of the Scooby-Doo references, but some like the ones that were on Dragons of Ashita. I have no idea. So I'm going to, like I said, man, I'm going to kind of deep dive and look a lot of these things up. But yeah, man, what'd you think about the album? Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know in the comment section down below. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy Tev. I'll catch you on the next video, man. I'm up out of here. Peace.